Weren't you Bullseye? You were Bullseye on Daredevil. No, you no. were. No, he wasn't. No. <laughs> Starting off strong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in yeah. something. All right. That's you were in one of the Marvel shows. No. <laughs> okay, I'm bad with okay. thousands. All right. <laughs> can can we start over? Yeah. Good morning. Um, Good morning. Can we do a slate really quickly who you are and your characters on the show, please? Yes. Thank you. Start. Callum. I play Nikolai. Missy Pyle, I play Cleo Coles, Henry, Etta, Henry's mother. I'm Maddie Hassan, I play Henry Coles. Thank you so much. How I love the turn. It's a lot. How are, uh, is Maddie's attitude towards her powers going to change in season two now that she's getting along? Um, Okay, questions. All right, we're, at, we're, an, we're asking questions, we're answering questions. Yes. What did you ask me? You said, how are, how are, how's her attitude going to change? So she's sort of, um, with the help of this guy, trying to gain control of her powers because people are coming after her in season two. Um, and we get to see a couple of triumphant moments as she like kind of grapples with that in a rocky way. But to gain control of her powers, she has to try to come to terms with what happened to her with the assault, with Bill Boone, with um, Mom, all of this trauma that just sort of keeps coming at her. Um, and it's real rocky. Is Clay going to come back as a factor this season since he does know his power? He's in it, yeah. He's definitely in it. He's a no factor. spoiler. <laughs> yeah, but he hasn't taken any factor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 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 Boom. Drop the mic. Really good. Thank you. And oh. go ahead, no, go ahead. Does the mom have, well, you got all do an, ex, an excellent job. I just told your director, producer, runner, showrunners, whatever, that yeah, I binge watched the entire season. You did? Yes. I was going to watch one all, check it out, and then I'm like, all day, and they're like, you're still watching TV? I'm like, shh, I'm trying to see what's going to happen. So I watched the entire thing, and I do have episode two, the first season, but I can't tell you. But, uh... <laughs> Anyway, how is the mother going to grow for the sex, uh, the, se how, the uh, season two? How is the how mother's she, going to grow? Oh, how is she going to grow? Well, yeah. you know, she's just been, I got to she's been <laughs> shot, you know, so she, she's right. like having to come to terms with, um, like, get, getting better, obviously. And then um, I think she's really trying so hard to be a better parent. Like once I, once I think something like that happens to you, you you reevaluate everything and she's really just trying so hard to do a better job with her daughter and ultimately it ends up like kind of working against her. There's a lot of push and pull between Susan. Yeah. Mostly push. No, there's there's and some then pulling and then some pulling. Does the yeah. mom really like the new boyfriend? Because I'm like you're not into she might him. end up with this. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> like, we I feel like never too. Season, might, you know yeah. what you're saying. Season, there's a vibe. With, yeah, I mean, our way, no. Why not? Yeah. I no, I'm going to fight on that. If I can ask, can you tell us what attracted you to your parts, ladies and sir, in the first place? Um, I really, really just loved Henry. And I mean, I loved the idea of working with Doug. Love is incredible. So that was a big draw. But I just loved who Henry was. I loved how real and raw she was and how, um, you know, Lauren LaFranc and Doug Lyman and, and the producers, Dave Bardis and Jim Klein, they never tried to fit her into like a stereotypical young adult female mold. Um, they just sort of let her be a person, which is unfortunately not totally common in in Hollywood with, with female characters. I think it's becoming more common. I think that's where we're going. But that's why I liked I was a single, I just become a single mother, I adopted my daughter, so I was really excited about playing a single mother. Um, I also loved the script, and I wanted to see where she was going. I loved the idea of working with Doug Lyman. But mostly I just was excited that somebody was going to let me do something that wasn't a uh, big comedy. Um, so I, was, I was excited to see her. Um, I loved you and Alex Ryder, that Kill Bill fight oh, scene. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Callum Keith Rennie, Nikolai. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to be slay. Were you in Marvel? Ouch. Jessica Jones Marvel. Oh, Jessica Jones, you were Jessica Jones Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. Okay, so oh, I was in it? that. I was in that. Were you? What was? Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones, that's where I was in Marvel. 
Um, why did it, the pedigree of the show, the writing of the show, the um, intention of the show was why I took it. And the group of people assembled seemed to be, and they are, all working with the same singular um, make something good, egos aside, let's all make something different and interesting um, that has some value to it. And, you know, teleporting junkie assassin. That's right, so. Kellum's a, a mumbler. Oh. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot of truth, Sorry. just, just yeah. one yeah. more, just one We're more. We're running out of time, Just, Sorry. just one. There's a lot of truth about drama, <laughs> uh, about trauma in the show. Okay. If you could just tell me what it would take to have more of that happen in Hollywood, in this superhero genre. So for, because as I said to your um, director and your showrunner, that I could watch it without the superpowers because it's such a, how you deal with trauma and how people get through and find that power within themselves, even if they don't have these superpowers. What would it take to have more of that happen, do you what think, do you in your opinion, as far as in Hollywood and, you know, for, for these kinds of I mean, shows I to happen? I think the Me Too movement is, is pushing us towards that, hopefully, mm -hmm. um, to tell real stories as real women are coming out and, and saying Me Too and telling their real story. I think that, that is definitely helping. Um, I think just more of that, more more honesty and more not putting up with awful people doing awful things. I think people are, be, are wanting to see the truth more. I mean, yeah, there's so much content out there. People are, can pick and choose what they want. They're not being told they have to do something. So it's like people want the truth. They're seeing more of it, so they just pour it out. So wanting it. I mean, I think it's like what I liked about watching the first season was that you saw, like, if there was great drama, great writing, I would forget that the teleportation and the sci-fi part of it and then you go oh yeah there's that <laughs> element that pulls you in as well kind of like a like any kind of 